day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. This is the Rhino. We have this beer in my hand. This is from Okanaga Springs Brewing Company in uh, BC. This is part of their summer seasonal limited editions. So you could get this in a six pack. It is a six pack with Okanaga Spring uh, Pale Ale, Okanaga Spring 1516 Bavarian Lager, and this. This is their Summer Weizen. It's a big glue. Well, I don't even think it looks like glue. It looks like something else. Um, Five percent alcohol by volume. Uh, it is a. It says it's a classic wheat. Um. You know, but going into this, um, the pale ale. It's a mediocre pale ale. I mean, it's it's a passable pale ale, so it's drinkable. The Bavarian lager is exactly what you'd expect. It's just a German style lager. It's it's a passable beer as well. It is a nice refreshing drinking beer. So this one here unless this is outstanding well if this is passable to outstanding, it's a passable six pack and it's worth a buy if you just want to try something new. Don't ex not expecting anything amazing out of it. If this is a bad beer, I'd probably steer clear of the uh, six pack then because it is a little bit more expensive coming from BC. And if this if this isn't a passable beer, then if you buy that case and you don't like this, you've basically bought that case to get this one beer because you can get the pale ale here, and you can get the fifteen sixteen on on tap at different places. I mean, you can buy kegs of it here. So, you basically have bought it for nothing then, if this is a bad beer. Mm, tiny, tiny bit of smoke. Now, I poured this beer the exact same way I poured my last wheat beer, and I was talking about how I've never poured very well into th this particular glass, my uh, Iron Spike glass from Railway City. This time I poured perfectly fine in it, but I poured it the exact same way. So it was the beer last time more than it was me. Um, oh, that's that's golden, but uh, like a amber gold almost. Get, uh, there's some places that have a nice orange hue, and there's some places that look really gold. Very little tiny stream ahead. A little bit of viscosity in that head. See that? It clings to the sides. Um... But that's not a that's not an eye awe inspiring wheat beer look, is it? I mean that might be how you like your wheat beer, but to me that's just looks like somebody came in my glass really and is just floating around the top. Let's give her a sniff. Now we did use this in the blind taste test we did of white beers, and this didn't do very well. I think this was eliminated in the first round. And I'm curious if they're just very inconsistent in their bottles, because I don't remember a beer smelling like this at all in that round. It, it's very sweet. It almost smells like a cherry beer, in all honesty. Yeah, there's, there's little hints of cherry in there. Cherry and some berries. Like it's it's a weird smell. You do get your your must your wheat must smell on there. You do get a little bit of citrus on there, but it, it it's mostly a sweet berry smell. That's that's weird. I'm just I'm going in. Cheers. didn't do very well. Um, very weedy. It is almost like an American pale ale being basically just wheat, no no orange adjunct or, um, or Bavarian yeast strains or Belgian yeast strains or anything like that. It's close to that but not quite. There are adjuncts in here that are adding adding different flavors to it but there's not that many. 
Um, you get a little bit of citrus. You get a lot of wheat. Yeah, almost dirty oatmeal taste on the background. Uh, you know that weird grittiness you can sometimes get from oatmeal, like steel cut oats? That's, that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, and that slight cherry taste is still there. You're still getting a berry taste in there. There is a... Uh, there is a beer I've had that has that flavor profile to it, and I can't put my finger on it. We haven't we haven't added the video yet, but I've figured it out. This kind of tastes like the boysenberry. We did a boysenberry video that had boysenberry in it, and this kind of tastes like that. Just a little, little tannin-filled, slightly sweet berry flavor coming in on it. It's weird. It's different for a, for a wheat beer. I don't know how you can call it a classic wheat beer with that that taste. I can't say it's bad. It's just not good. There's nothing wrong with this. Other than it's not good enough to want to buy it in a six pack, at least if you buy it, you get two of it and not six. Does it chug? I'll try and chug it, and then I'll give you a mark because it, it tastes like it might not chug very well. It does have a little bit higher carbonation than I would like from it. chugged all right. The carbonation attacks the front of your tongue, though. Um, 575, I'd give it. So it is a pass. All three beers from that that six-pack were passes. Go out and buy it if you want something different. You're not... You're not going to get anything amazing out of it. But you might you might find that you like it. This is a strange one. This is a different take on, on a wheat beer to me. Anyway, Okanaga Springs, Summer Bison. Thank you, YouTube. Bye-bye. I'm going to take these two bottles with me.